members of the bar to act contemptuously to the authority of the Court of Appeal. Remember, if you were to look at the hierarchy of courts, Justice Mrima, Anthony Mrima, who sits at the high court, sits lower in rank than the judges of the Court of Appeal. So if we are torn between which orders to obey, that of the High Court or that of the Court of Appeal, we must, and I say this so respectfully, we must respect, obey and adhere to the orders that are made by the Court of Appeal. And I'm hoping that responds directly to the question that my good friend has asked my, my boss and my, my senior. Thank you. Can you tell us the directions in the previous ruling when the DCI was stopped from... No, no. You see, to, to be quite frank, we are in a very we are in a constitutional moment. We are in a moment where the court has to decide whether uh, the question when does pro criminal proceedings begin, because it's a it's a constitutional interpretation. So that if the constitutional proceed uh, if the criminal proceedings begin after the charge sheet has been admitted in court, then the DPP should be taking the proceedings from that point. Otherwise, we must wait, keep mum until. The court, the superior court, speaks on this issue because, as far as we are concerned, it is a live issue before the court of appeal. Which, prima facie, the court of appeal has been persuaded. It has been persuaded to an extent of allowing, or or rather, staying the orders that had been issued previously, restraining police officers from presenting, from drafting, or, or otherwise, uh, you know, presenting the charges before the, the court. In the event, the LSK chair. The president does not withdraw the letter. Yes. What actions are you going to take against it? Yes, there, there are a number of avenues as members of the bar that we have. Number one, there is the AGM. We have it uh, as, as, a, as a tool that we can use. Number two, we have the judicial review. Remember, the LSK is a creature of law. And any communication they make to the public is a legal position. So that that letter in itself is an affront to the orders of the Court of Appeal. And it must be frowned. To, to tell us to disregard the Court of Appeal uh, interim orders is at the very least unfortunate. Thank you. And we, should, we have given timelines for that letter to be recalled, failure to which we move to court. Two, we move through the AGM for the removal of the Law Society President for not complying with the expectations of the objectives of the Law Society of Kenya Act. So we have several tools available to that effect.